modeling of diode in forward characteristics. For analysis of circuits, diode is represented with a model. It is done to find function of diode and unknown quantities like diode voltage and diode current. There are many ways to model the diode in forward characteristics. Here we will discuss simplified diode models that are better suited for use in circuit analysis and design of diode circuits. First we will consider exponential diode model. This model is the most accurate description of the diode operation in the forward region but it is most difficult to employ in circuit analysis. Why? Because of its nonlinear nature. Now let's analyze this circuit using the exponential diode model. Assume that this VDD is greater than 0.5 volts or so. Now here this 0.5 volts is cut-in voltage. Now what is this cut-in voltage? If you remember that in forward region the curve is something like this. This is current and this is voltage. So the cut-in voltage is the voltage after which the diode current rapidly increases. It means this is the point after which the current is rapidly increasing. So this is what we call cut-in or knee voltage. In silicon diodes it is 0.7 volts. Okay. Now here we assume that this diode current it is much greater than saturation current. It means it is another assumption. We know that the diode current is given by the equation which is shown here where this Vd is the voltage across diode. Ideally this Vd is zero but in practical cases it is 0.3 volts for germanium and 0.7 volts for silicon diodes. Now this ID is current across diode. Now the other equation that governs circuit operation it can be obtained by using Kirchhoff voltage law. We know that this is positive terminal of the battery, this is negative terminal. So this terminal of R is positive, this is negative and this terminal of diode is positive and this is negative. Now how we are going to make KVL equation? We'll start from this point means minus VDD plus I'm calling the voltage across this resistor VR. So plus VR plus VD is equal to 0. Now we know that this VR uh, it can be written as uh, I T R because we know that V is equal to I R. Here this I is ID and R is R plus VD is equal to 0. Now if you rearrange this equation uh, you will get ID is equal to VDD minus VD divided by R. So this is another equation of diode current that you are getting from KVL. Now we know that this is first diode current equation. Here this diode parameter IS is known. This 
n is 1 for diode this vt is constant now look at this another current equation for diode here the values of this vdd and r are also known so in these two equations there are two unknown quantities which are vd and id that is diode current and diode voltage so there are two alternative ways for obtaining the solution first is graphical analysis and second is iterative analysis